Sunday, May 13th. It's Mother's Day, but it's also graduation season. Today on the show, I've got something for the mamas, the grads, and even my Beyonce fan. Okay. That's right. Okay, go ahead. Oh, you want to keep that? Yeah. Okay, wait, do it, redo it, redo it, redo it. Go ahead. Hey, ladies, and welcome back to Vicious Love Beyonce. Hey. Yeah, I got it. What are you talking about, girl? Go ahead with your intro. Oh, that was my intro. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we <mentioned> that. <sighs> anyway, you know, it, it happens, you know, just go with the flow. We out here doing it, though. That's all I got to say. For the queen. Yes, for the queen. Dear Mama. Happy Mother's Day. Hey, fly girls. My name is Twanita Dozier, and I am the founder and editor-in-chief of Boss Up Magazine. And I am here to give a huge special shout-out to all of the mothers out there in the world. And you're the driving force She is awesome. Like, sometimes when I say I love my mom, I can't really explain how much I love my mom. And sometimes I just use unique, extraordinary, the best mom ever. Like, like, awesome, like, those type of words. And if I could, like, combine, like, a, like a couple of those words, that's probably how much I love my mom. You know, as a man, a, a woman can kind of help show you how to be what you're supposed to be, uh, as being that other half uh, that God intended. Um, so I'm just thankful that I had a great, loving um, example of that. Um, the way she loved my father, and she loved my father is a, is a huge piece for me as well. Um, and I'm hopefully I'm fortunate enough to find a woman like that. And you are my light. You are my sunshine. Whenever something is going on dark in my life, guess what? You're always there shining your light down. And I just really appreciate you and all that you do for me. And even if I don't show it every day, I would like to take this time and say thank you. And I love you so much. Um, I would first say thank you for paving the way and being an independent woman and showing that you can do anything that you set your mind to. And there's always another door when one shuts. Oh, dear mommy, I love you and I adore you and I'm blessed that you, uh, my mommy. <laughs> and to all mommies that are out here in the world, thank you for listening to us and kissing and loving us every day. Is it hard to be a mommy? It's hard to be a hyena. It's hard to be a hyena. Why is it hard to be a mommy? Because... She has one of the most gracious and tenacious spirits of just about anyone that I've ever met. And not to mention gorgeous. Shout out to Mama for these good jeans, honey. I can only aspire and hope to um, be as beautiful as she is and as I continue to perfectly age gracefully. Our music shop. And we're about to go look at some vinyl. Old school, let's bring it back. This actually is cute though. <laughs> what piece of advice would I give someone trying to be a fly girl? Secure the bag. graduating preschool. Happy. My name is Imani Rothwell. I am a senior graduate at Temple University. I got my bachelor's in theater. And what are some trends that, you know, you know, think about this as a time capsule. So what are some trends in 2018 that just that you're really loving right now? Loving? I'm not really a trend hopper, so I couldn't really tell you. <laughs> But, you know, the girls are cute. Oh, okay. 
there were days when I didn't want to go to school or like days where I was through um, it gets like that especially with school days where I just you know wanted to quit take like a semester off or two semesters and she was one of the main people to be like, no, you know, you're you're close, you're getting closer. <laughs> it was freshman year, and she's like, you're getting closer to the finish line. Like, what was your, what was one of your craziest moments that you remember from high school? Craziest moments. Oh, Did you fight anybody? No, no fights. I think my craziest moment was just finding myself and being content with who I am <laughs> as a person. Like, I just think that that was important. <laughs> I think. One of my proudest moments is definitely graduating. I mean, I was going to I was going to drop out my sophomore year, but if it wasn't for the mentors and a black woman in my life who continuously touched me with their healing hands and pushed me and allowed me to know that you can't give up, like you can't, you can't, because we don't quit. Um, <laughs> so that's my proudest moment: graduating, knowing where I was coming from, and knowing how it could all end it. My sophomore year and in this moment wouldn't be happening. We always check on me. My inspiration is my role models. My mother, my sister. My mother, the hips that crack. The hips that crack. So, okay. My mentors, the people, you know, that were always rooting for me. That's what kept me motivated. Wow. Um, my mother um, is my inspiration through this whole thing. I'm not lying. It's not just my mother because that's not fair to my sister. That's not fair to my mentors. And that's not fair to my ancestors. Um, all of those people are my inspiration and my motivation and my thing that kept pushing me through this whole time and this experience and motivating me. And acknowledging that and recognizing that to me is really important because sometimes people like to think to themselves, they did it on their own. But if we keep it in a hundred, we don't do it on our own. It's people behind us doing everything. <laughs> and that to me and understanding it and realizing it really helped me throughout the years. I'm so happy. I don't want to take up too much time. My mom, it's very cliche to say that your mom is like the main person who motivated you. I actually have to have my mom and my sister. And when my mom was my age, she didn't get a chance to finish school. She had to raise us. She started building a family early on. So being able to be at this point and being able to finish, I'm one of the first out of all my siblings to finish school. So that's like a huge accomplishment. And I know my little sister, she looks up to me. She doesn't want to admit it, but she does. Beyonce? Yes, ma'am, she do. <gasps> okay. There's one. Come through. There's we two. love a young queen. We love B-Day. There's three. Okay, more. Four. Iconic. Four fave album. We'll discuss later. And that's five. Iconic. Iconic. A disco queen. A disco queen. And this is six, ma'am. I'm poor. I'm poor. I'm officially poor. There will be no grad party. There will be no prom. There will be me watching these all night. So Welcome to the very first, like, real live episode of Fly Girl Live. Um, it actually was my dream to not do this as a phone recording, so <sighs> we're here yes. in Technicolor. I'm here with Deborah Diane. Um, she's a singer-songwriter extraordinaire, and she just wants to share a little bit about her life a little bit about her travels. Mm -hmm. I hear you. Sisters with Passports Club. Yeah. I love it. Um, and then she's going to tell us about an exciting event that she's putting on in Detroit. So um, tell us who you are, Deborah. Who is Deborah Diane? I'm Deborah Diane, and currently, you know, I'm a student at Temple and studying media studies and production. Okay. And um, along with that, you know, I'm a part of a poetry collective called Babel. Hey! So, yeah, shout out to Babel. Um, we do a lot in the community. Like, we put on a lot of different shows, and yeah. So that's really what I do, okay. and I have a foundation called Lead the Way. So tell me more about Lead so, the Way. So Lead the Way, it started last year in 2017 um, when uh, the hurricane in Houston happened. Yeah. And something just something just came in me, and I was just like, wow, I should 
I should really put on an event to raise money for them. And wow. So I partnered with um, Be Good Houston mm -hmm. and um, Bread of Life Incorporated. Okay. And um, yeah, we raised $758. Now, Bread of Life Houston sounds like, I, you know, I do stalk Mama Tita, Beyonce's mother. And I vaguely remember her taking boxes and collecting yeah. things. That's not the same Bread of Life. It is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. It is. So you have a Beyonce connection. So I wouldn't say that. Okay. You know, you know. <laughs> okay, so how much money did you send to them? Wow, $758. So, wow. Yeah. And just like from putting on an event singing, you raised yeah. the money. Yeah, so we had, it was a benefit concert. We had poets, we had rappers, we had singers, we had dancers. Wow. Vendors there and different things That's like that. That's amazing. So it was really, it was really fun to put on. Yeah, and I understand like you're doing it again. Yes. Okay. And this one is to raise funds for someone in the city of Detroit to go to college. Wow. So, That's yeah. amazing. Mm -hmm. That's I'm really, really amazing. So one. you're giving away money. Yeah. It is kind of like uh so how how does the money come together for them? Like Oh, so it's it's just like the same thing. I put on a whole concert. Um, you know, it's kind of like with the incentive like, you know, people say they really like my music, but if you want to come hear my music, you know, this is uh, you can hear my music, but we're raising funds for you to hear right. my music. Right. That's and, beautiful. So. so the the scholarships actually being crowdsourced. Like everybody that's coming is yeah. getting into the crowd the mm -hmm. the scholarship. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So when is this event? Cuz I want to be there. Yeah, May 26th from okay. 5 to 8 at the Matrix Human Services Center. Is that a Saturday? Yeah, Saturday. What time? 5 to 8. Matrix Center. Where is that in Detroit? Yes. Is that on the east on side? Gratiot, yes. Gratiot and what? Six Mile. Yeah. Six Mile, y'all. She <laughs> tried to take us to Six Mile. But it's for a good cause. Yes. Okay. All I right. We're going to have to pray, actually. but it'll be. So, okay. Shout out to them. They okay. support. Yeah. You know, I might just have to come out. Now, I also heard you have a passport. And you travel. Yes. So tell me a little bit about your travels and where you've been. Okay, so the first time I traveled out of the country was with Tim Hortons um, Children's Foundation. Mm -hmm. And, like, it was all paid for. Um, it was a five-year program, and I was I was lucky to be able to be a part of it for five years. Yeah. And, like, flights were free, food was free. They wow. also accommodated to me being vegan. You wow. Know? And, like, basically the program just helps build leaders. And, yeah. you know, every year... Um, the nights increased because we went on a, um, a trip in the woods. Mm -hmm. So like the first... Oh, you went out in the woods? Yes. Uh, you know y'all know black girls don't be out in the woods now. <laughs> but you went. Yeah. Okay, and you liked it. Yeah. It worked. Mm -hmm. And you went back again to the game. Yes. Okay. Yeah, and so... I'm here for it. Every year from, um, from being a part of that program and graduating from the program, um, I get a scholarship for going to school. Wow. No matter if I take a break off of school or not, That's I, I get a scholarship. Just and what program is this? This is Tim Hortons Children's Foundation. Wow. Yeah. So you think maybe that foundation kind of inspired you to want to give back? Like how they yeah. how they helped you yes. out? Yeah. yeah. Definitely, definitely. Because they were just always there like anything. Like that Tim Hortons Children's Foundation, it really helped a lot in my whole life. Like wow. I'm very grateful to them. That's amazing. Yeah. I think sometimes people don't realize how much being a blessing to somebody else really can impact and impact somebody in their future and make yeah. them want to help others and give to others. Mm -hmm. I remember just all of our life, like different people that always helped and just like, dang, they always there and it always made me want to be like, mm -hmm. when I grow up, I want to be that person. I want to be the person that can help others. So mm -hmm. it, I mean, sometimes people just don't even understand like how much it could be something so small, but sowing that seed can really um, mm -hmm. impact somebody for their future. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yep. And every year they sent us away with some type of gift, but every time we went on a trip, we all we got burn rope and i still have mines on you know sometimes <laughs> i've had these on for so long how many years have you had these on they've been over five years and your arm is not even tarnished or no and I'm like shook. you know so many people have been trying to like take give me the <laughs> eventually they are gonna come off you know it's gonna be a whole ritual thing and you know but it really does mean a lot tim hortons helped me got get through a lot so, that's good yeah. i'm glad to hear that yeah. um so tell me a little bit more like just um, what other places have you gone to oh, okay so besides canada i have gone to the dominican republic mm -hmm. um and we went to puerto plata we went to susua and Cap susua and cabaret kind of like mm -hmm. close uh, Santo Domingo. Um, and that's kind of like beachy vibes. Yeah, very okay. beachy. I love okay. beach though. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Those yeah, I'm are a beach girl too. Vibes where I've yeah. really been. Okay. And did like, you enjoy that? Oh man, it was beautiful. And like, I would really, really love to live out the country and like mm -hmm. just live that kind of like minimalist life. Mm -hmm. for real. 
Yeah. Like, because I feel like we have so many things that we don't even, like, realize. And we're not really grateful for the things mm -hmm. that we have. So I feel like, I don't know, it's just it would just be beautiful just to... Just to live out the country and live like that. Like, I enjoyed living there when I did live there. Wow. Mm -hmm. And, like, wow, you're just, you're a student and you're giving back. Like, you still are, I'm sure you're doing financial aid and <laughs> trying to make it, make peace your own way through. But you sitting up in here trying to give a scholarship to another student and you trying to get through college your own self. <laughs> That is amazing. Like, that's really, really beautiful. And I really want to encourage everybody in the Fly Fam, y'all make sure y'all get out there, y'all go, y'all support. If you don't, uh, people can't come. I mean, I have followers, you know, all over the world. So how could um, people donate to your foundation or donate to give this, um, you know, help out? Mm -hmm. So we have a cash app. My foundation has a cash app. It's the dollar sign, lead the way 313. Okay, I'll make sure so, I put that down at the yeah. bottom so people can donate. Um, and here at the Fly, Fly, Fly Girl Adventures, we're so, um, you know, proud of what you've been doing. And we really want to partner with you. Um, we already told you, we already announced that we were going to give you $100 to mm -hmm. your foundation. And actually, you know, I do love Beyonce. And I was already doing a giveaway, a couple, actually giving a couple Beyonce tickets out. Mm -hmm. um, but we wanted to bless you and... Um, you know, give away some tickets at the concert. I mean, really? at your, yeah, at your benefit concert. Wow. So, these are um, two tickets. Two tickets to um, the Beyonce concert at Ford Field in Detroit. And I would like you to give wow. these out at your concert. Um, however you decide you want to do them, you can give them out to anybody. Um, and I just really want, you know, I really want people to benefit. I, you know, I don't know Beyonce personally, but in my heart of hearts, I do believe she would really be down for this. And, you know, she would want to, she would want to help any way that she could. So we want to give these so to you. Much. Yeah. Wow. No problem. Thank you. Yeah. And we definitely want to make sure that we come out and support you. Um, now we're going to close this out. Um, but if you had any advice or words of support that you could give to a student that's struggling to make ends meet, you know, and they have dreams that they want to do and they want to go far and, you know, do something big, but it's just like they have so many obstacles in their way. What, what advice would you give to them? Mm, I would say stay strong in what you want to do and keep putting positive energy out there because if you keep telling yourself, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, stop thinking about the bad things that's going on it will happen mm -hmm. the greatness will happen and it will come and also i would like to say you know think about where you started yeah and think about where you are now mm -hmm. and give yourself some credit mm -hmm. give yourself some credit because i think sometimes we think about all these other bad things but we don't realize how far that we've actually come yeah we don't realize that and it's just like amazing to see like when you sit back and realize wow i was really over here and now mm -hmm. look at me you know so yeah that's what i would say thank you that mm -hmm. was really beautiful it is it is amazing to think about how far you've gone mm -hmm. that kind of touched me in a special way anyway not gonna cry <laughs> on my first live episode we're gonna wait a little bit you know um i just want to give a shout out um to tea and honey apparel for this shirt um i really love it i won a contest that they were doing it's called love yourself Con contest and i just was telling everybody you know no matter what don't let society get to you and tell you oh, you need to lose weight or you need to color your hair or straighten your hair or wear makeup or do this. There is a whole um, industry invested in us hating ourselves. Mm -hmm. You know, there's stores that invest in, you know, they bank on us hating our natural hair or hating our skin complexion, wanting to be lighter, wanting to, you know, be smaller or lose weight or different things like that. And yes, you should, you should love yourself enough that you want to be healthy, that you want to live life and live it to its fullest. But sometimes my healthy is not the same as your health. You know, or in terms of like, you know, skin color, skin tones, love your own beautiful skin. So that's why I won my thing because, you know, I love myself. With me, it's, 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 it's an everyday process. It's not like you never reach like the epitome of it. But yeah, shout out to them, Tea and Honey Apparel. Y'all check them out. And just plug your event one more time before we go. All tell right. them, tell them where Lead we want to go. the way, Saturday, May 26th from 5 to 8 at the Matrix Human Services Center. Where is it at again? Matrix Human Services Center. Oh, on Gratiot and Six Mile. Six Mile, y'all. She trying yeah. to take y'all to Six Mile. Six Mile brick. Like a bitch, tell me that little thing I'm at now. Y'all didn't know I was crazy. Y'all weren't ready. Y'all weren't ready. All right, I'll hit y'all later. And you know, if you come, the Fly Girl will be in the building. Yeah, what? thank what? you so much, Fly Girl. <laughs> okay, as I hop. Wow, the hop.